generally also, but that's a bit cumbersome. So transabdominal load is a better method by using a 3.5 megahertz probe, getting an optimal bladder filling. I think you can do it. Works very well. Sir, how many hours after thawing for how many hours we should culture hour. the embryo before? We have to, some people, what they do is that immediately after embryo, they have thawed now. We are doing a blast transfer nowadays. It takes around one hour for them to expand. Maybe one and a half hours. Some people, the moment they thaw, they load and they do it. What I feel is, I think Yogesh is here, will take his opinion also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I feel we should let the embryos expand. That gives me a lot of confidence that they have expanded. And maybe you can let them hatch. You can let them grow. Uh, don't, I'm really, I've seen so many people, they thaw, and as they thought within half an hour, 20 minutes, unexpanded embryos. So they are grave, they are 4A embryos, good embryos. You have to lift it up and just transfer. So you don't know whether they have recovered or not. So you should wait, it's not time. Time maybe one to two hours, but let the embryos expand, then you should transfer. So Yogesh, what do you feel about this? It's a very yes. good question. Uh, madam, uh, just, 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 just uh, please yeah. note it down. You know, it is a very good question rather. Very good. Whenever you are dealing with cleavage stage embryo transfer at that time, frozen embryos are not having their, uh, this microtubules, this spindle is just, 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 just disappeared. It takes nearly two to four hours to reappear for the further cleavage. I'm talking about day three. But because right, night, right now we are, majority of the centers, 90-95% of the centers are performing the blastocyst transfer, day five. So here's the catch. Catch is what? It is two to six hours depending upon the stage, depending upon the expansion, the kind of stage of the embryos you froze earlier. So 3A embryos, two hours is sufficient. It is 4, 4, 4A, um, uh, 4A means fully expanded blastocyst. It is again, maybe it takes 2R, 3R, hour, 4R. Hour, hour. And if we are having some of the, some of the, some of the centers are performing this laser hatching also. So they are just trying to sh make sure that embryo is going to be hatched. So re-expansion, under re-expansion should be avoided. Fully expanded or fully re-expanded embryos are better for the selection because it is not our job to transfer. First job is to choose the better embryo, the viable embryo, the good embryo that is that you can anticipate the pregnancy. So this is from my side. Very right. So I think we should wait for one, two, two, one. And question is very, uh, very uh, intriguing question. It's something like, you know, uh, uh, so we talk about uh, embryo, the media which is called equilibration media. We call it an ES media. Usme time 